it's best of three. This is the round of 64 for the DreamHack Open Qualifiers. Uh, it's number one. I don't know if there's going to be more, but at least there's this one for now. Spawning here, though, in the lower right corner of the map, playing for Team Liquid, it is the Red Zerg player known as Rhett. And I think I saw someone on Twitter or Twitch say, or Team Liquid, if it's not Dutch, it ain't much. <laughs> I really love that saying now, and you're probably going to hear me say it to an annoying degree. But spawning here in the upper left corner of the map, uh, the clan tag, I don't know what it stands for, but it is the real, the only, the Liquid's Snoot. Snoot. can never say his name, but whatever, been over that a million times before in my life. We got Red doing a bit of an extractor trick here. No, okay, actually it is an overlording production, so no cheese. No cheese, alright, just a bit of a weird opener, not a big deal. ZVZ though, I think a lot of you guys in chat were moaning and groaning when I announced this of ZVZ, but you can't moan, you can't groan, these are two great players that are, and again, I, I want to really stress this, not Koreans. Now while I imagine both of them have had their fair, uh, fair share of time tra uh, training with Koreans, I know Snoot was over in Korea for a long time physically, I don't know if Rhett has been in recent days, but, you know, it's... It, we've we got to see a lot of these guys in the Easter Team Story Cup. We see Snoot in the Zotac Cup quite frequently as well. Both of these guys have been playing very well in recent days. And I don't just mean like the last couple days. I mean, I'm talking like... I don't think I've seen a truly bad game out of either of these players in a long time. The, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. You watch that one game, you just moan and you groan and you face bomb. You're like, really? Did that game just happen? But no. Snoot and Rent have been top of their form. And... I mean, quite frankly, as long as they keep improving, these guys are going to be big contenders for the next, I don't know if you call it season, series? The next year of WCS when it comes. But, uh, yeah, expansion's coming out. It's kind of hard to talk about ZVZ because here's where the action starts. If you guys don't know, the timings to watch I found in this matchup, you stick around the five minute mark, watch the queens, and see if drones get cut. If the Zerg continue to produce drones, then we're not going to have some sort of crazy all in. But on a map like Whirlwind, to expect like a six minute ling all in with banelings would be a little bit absurd, I feel. Not Whirlwind, sorry, Frost, Frost. This map looks like Whirlwind because it's a four player spawn, but it is Frost. Uh, but the thing I was going to say, the, what really makes this map nice and interesting is the third base locations. They've both got backdoors, they're both pretty vulnerable, and they can both be taken out very easily by a player who abuses the terrain. Now, earlier today, we got to see on Polar Night. The TVP meta almost changed just because of the map. I don't think Frost is capable of doing that in ZVZ, but it's cool to know and to think that like, hey, there's the potential that the maps play a huge role in these matchups more so than the actual races do. Not always going to be the time, and blah blah blah, I'm being, I'm talking a bit generally of course. But two links from Snoot are going to get down here, Red's going to try and clean them up. Will he get a drone on the way out? First blood. Nice build cancel keeps the drone alive. Other Ling is killed, but I think the drone's gonna go down in the end. So ultimately, a little bit better for Snoot than even anticipated because that was not just a drone kill, but a build cancel drone kill. So icing on the cake. <laughs> but of course, it's one drone before the 10 minute mark. And it's Zerg, so not a big deal. Not the end of the world, not a big problem. But what could be a problem is if Rhett continues to make a ton of Lings. I don't think he's going to though. Again, these four links are probably coming across the field just to scout. He wants to be able to run up to the main to see the gases of Snoot. If Snoot's already on his lair tech, or starting lair I should say rather, and he's taking all four gases, that's something Rhett needs to see. But of course with how early this is and how like unlikely that is, it's looks like he's not going to get in there. So he won't be able to scout anything anyways. A little bit sad to see, but I like the position of this evolution chamber. So this is the difference of those links beelining it right up that ramp. I know some people hate when I use that phrase, but uh, yeah, it's gonna keep them out of the base for now. Another evolution chamber coming down. Or sorry, a roach ward. Oh, hold the phone. Not another evolution chamber. Queen's gonna kill the overlord, maybe? <laughs> oh my god, with six health! The overlord lives to see another day. Uh, Link's not quite on top of the watchtower. Would like if Rhett would do that, just to just to get that extra good old-fashioned vision. Double evos coming out of our red zerg player from Team Liquid, and I don't know. I, I kind of am feeling roach fights, guys. I mean, Snoot's obviously going towards it. That much is for sure. I'm just waiting to see what Rhett does. He's got four gases, though. Myco Mutalisks. Nope, we'll also be investing into the roaches. Okay. This is going to be pretty cool and a lot of fun. Uh, Mutalisks versus Mutalisks fights are kind of like, eh, whatever. It's kind of like a death ball that ends very abruptly, very quickly, and not a lot of fun. However, roach fights, 
they require not just a lot of micro, but a lot of, like, positional micro, too. So you, it's one thing to just fight on a ramp and hope you win because you got the concave on the top, but if your opponent pushes into you and focuses your hydralisks down or is able to draw you out just a little bit, I mean, small little things can shift the change of balance. This is, make no mistake, still very much about the numbers, just like Mutalisk versus Mutalisk. However, there's another element added to it, which makes it a little bit more intense and a lot more fun to watch, in my opinion. Third base, though, coming out of Snoot, trying to chase off this Overlord. He's actually dropping... <laughs> this is pretty cool. He's dropping Creep so his Queen can leapfrog a little bit faster forward in order to catch the Overlord a little more efficiently. Of course, it's very dangerous for a Queen to normally be this far off Creep just to leap off an Overlord, but thanks to the Creep spread, he's going to get back on it, and no Lings will come catch this Lamia. It does. So a little bit mad about this Overlord getting away earlier. Exacts his revenge with a abundance of Micro, I suppose, and abundance of Micro if I really want to be grammatically correct. But yeah, Roach Fight's going to be coming out. Now, I, I find in the mid game, what really tends to be, I don't know, problematic, and I say that in air quotes because I'm, I'm very, very loosely using the phrase problematic, is upgrades. Because on one hand, 2-2 two, two over 1-1, one, one, obviously going to go in the favor of the player with the upgrades. However, if you sacrifice those additional upgrades in order to get, like, say, eight more Roaches on the field... You'll probably win that fight just through sheer numbers. So there's this very delicate balance of where you want to spend your gas in this game. But Snoot coming across the field, marching with some roaches. That's the advantage of clearing out Rhett's overlords. He sees this coming now, but a little bit too late. He's getting his own roaches out, perhaps in a bit of a panic. No spine crawlers are down. I mean, that's... That, uh, okay, that does actually... Not sure if that was a cancel or a kill. Let's check that. Was a cancel, not a kill, by the looks of it. Oh, wait. Maybe that was... Yeah, that was a kill, not a cancel. Wow. Okay, that's going to be a bit rough. Uh, at any rate, the big thing I was going to say was if the Overlord was, say, positioned right on top of the natural and he saw that big push coming, we probably would have seen Rhett throw down at least a couple spine crawlers. Not a lot, but maybe a couple. Uh, people asking if this is live. No, this is brand new. This is going on right now, guys. You can go check out the brackets. The DreamHack open brackets are available to the public. They're on Reddit. They should be on Team Liquid as well. You can see what's coming up for some other games. We are currently casting Rhett versus Snoot in the round of 64, and I will be keeping an eye on Chuck versus Symbol potentially a little bit later on. But for the time being, we got these two great European players clashing in out head-to-hand. -head. Roach fight versus Roach fight will be coming. How many Roaches currently on the field? 22 to 28. But of course, upgrades coming out. Both players. Actually, Snoot a little bit behind in the armor upgrades. It'll be 2-2 two, two versus 2-1 two, at the time of the next engagement. We'll see if that comes into play or not. Home field advantage is a big deal in ZVZ, guys. And some of you may not understand why that is. You get your roaches to reinforce your army a little bit quicker than your opponent does. Red's going to have to spend about 14 seconds running across the field. But hold the phone. Not going to be important. If well, Snoot's going to give chase. A couple of roaches being sort of uh, distractingly thrown to the side. But Snoot just viciously going to claim his prize. Coming across now, Red. Home field advantage may be on his side, but double the roaches for Snoot. Oh my god, this is a lot of roaches. There are queens here, but there are no spine crawlers. Snoot just trying to find that perfect angle of attack. Perhaps doesn't realize how big of a roach lead he has. Pushes right on into this. Some transfuses will certainly go down. Rhett with some great control, but Snoot with superior numbers. And of course, because he's pushed up in this death ball sort of formation, the concave of Rhett... Uh, it's going to push Snoot back for now, but its I, I feel like that would have continued in an A-move fest. Snoot still would have taken that fight, but playing it safe than sorry. Both players on 1-1, one, one, but that's going to change here in just a moment. Snoot's plus two weapons actually just finished up. And a Hydro Stand coming out to a Rhett. There's, uh, I don't know, if you get Hydro Stand on the field, they're great. The DPS is unmatched, of course, and you need them behind the line of Roaches. But if you don't have enough Roaches and your opponent can just move into your Hydralisk, don't forget, guys. Hydras only have 80 health. Roaches have 145. They are very fragile in comparison. Yes, they've got a lot of damage, but they're basically uh, glass cannons in that regard. Kind of cool, too, seeing Snoot spread creep on this map. Something you don't typically see at a ZVZ. Where's... The, man, the music's so quiet and somber. Where's the epic battle music? We got Snoot, like, coming in. No, not Terran music. Go away. We need the, like, Heart of the Swarm. dun 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 dun, dun. Okay, Roach is going to collide once again. Rhett, definitely outnumbered, does have half of his Roach. Not half, I should say, but like a quarter of his Roach is across the field. Snoot with 52 to 23. The Queen trying to do what it can, but Rhett just getting outmashed, outnumbered, out, out, I guess everything, out Roached, if you will. Hydras are now prop popping, but there's nothing to tank for them is the big scary thing. Hydras, of course, severely... Why can't I slide? I'm going to probably relog StarCraft after this, but uh, yeah, anyways, damage of them is really good. You'll just have to take my word on it for now, even though you're not getting to see it displayed. Good game is thrown down, and Snoot will take game one over Liquid Reds. But of course, this is a best of three, so don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be back in a second, run a couple ads between games, and we'll see you shortly.